we all have our old cell phones but eventually this is what backs up it's got this beautiful camera in it still so it can be used for uh, remote sensing it can be used for uh, videoing it can be used for uh, voice recording there's all sorts of uses that there are a little music player even tinkerers end up with a lot of these uh, 18650 lithium iron batteries that come out of laptop and uh, probably about eight years ago now I started to uh, run in the running community many of the guys were already beginning to run with uh, these GPS uh, watches on their arms I thought you know what these batteries here are lithium iron here we are 3.8 volts lithium iron and that's exactly what these things are same technology and as far as I know and maybe there is somebody who could still uh, say that I've missed something there's really no difference between this phone running off one of these batteries and keeping one of these batteries charged in the normal way that it keeps one of those batteries charged so I thought okay fine that's more or less sort of proved the concept it's worked there's been no danger with this one at all I've uh, charged it up with a normal charging plug in there this lithium iron has been on here for eight years and it continues to power this phone no problem at all one doesn't have to worry about sort of battery management like for instance these little uh, circuit boards the reason I don't need them on there is because it's built in there they're doing all that monitoring make sure that it's not overcharged so how do we connect this up well if we go and have a look here there is a plus and a minus that one and that one and then there's one in the middle here and uh, this is a kind of a, a sense uh, for the processor in the phone to get an idea of how well it is charged but I found out that if about a 5k resistor from the ground of the battery to that point over there did the job so what I need to do here is I need to apply uh, from a battery I need to put plus onto there I need to put minus onto there and from the minus the negative side I need to take about a 5k ohm resistor and connect it to there so the first thing I've done is I put a hole in there I'm going to use brown as plus I'm going to use white as the sense line and I'm going to use black as the negative that's the minus contact And all I really need to do is connect that resistor. And here's me getting an idea as I work on this. And most of the stuff that I do, I get ideas as I go. So if I put it there, this is really basically just a resistor between ground, or well, that's the negative, and the sense pin. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right here, which means I only need to take two leads out I don't need this white one here so I can take it off
there we go so let's put it on charge and there we are it's charging right so there we are you got 82 percent and the voltage here is 4.07 volts so it's stopped charging accepted charging and there the battery immediately starts pushing up its voltage Well, perhaps uh, crude but effective. So I'm going to repeat this process with this phone now. It's going to be it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, says the battery's pretty full. Now, if I put the charger in, it's charging. <laughs> 